they chew it here, they chew it there, they chew it pretty much everywhere. Yemeni studies show that up to 90% of men and 70% of women are daily users of cut. It has an effect similar to amphetamines, and amid dire predictions of famine in Yemen, it's the nation's biggest crop. This is Sanaa's cat market. So 4,000, 10,000, 15,000, 25,000. That's five dollars for the cheapest bag of cat. You could feed a family for a whole day for the price of your cheapest cut. Do you think that it makes sense for Yemen that has no food for everybody to be chewing? No. Doesn't make sense. A simple family can spend less than this five dollars to eat. So is it surprising then that Yemen is having a problem with hunger? Not problem, it is a disaster. It is a disaster. Yemen is torn by war. The north is under siege. 12 million Yemenis will be fed by the UN's World Food Programme this year. Houthi rebel ministers are aware of the problem. Well, it's very simple. Most of your land is given over to growing drugs, not food. <laughs> I agree with you. This is a bad habit that we should get rid of. This is indisputable. We have government programs to combat growing cot. We remove cot trees and plant coffee bean trees instead. Yemen's mountain farms and terraces have been taken over by cat. It's so important to Yemenis that it's delivered the day it's picked throughout the country, driven at breakneck speeds to consumers. Up to a third of all agriculture is dedicated to the plant, which consumes a third of all water for farming. 25 years ago, this whole valley was planted with wheat, but the farmers say that that's just one crop a year. Now they get four crops a year from this narcotic. And in times of war, a cash crop is what really counts. We only make a profit from cut. Other crops don't cover our home expenses. This is the only crop that would cover our daily and annual expenses. Yemen's agriculture ministry estimates that Yemenis spend 12 billion a year on the drug. That's about three times the amount the UN says it needs in aid for Yemen. These figures speak for themselves. Sam Kiley, CNN, Sanaa.